I sent a video out the other day on wine. Like, I wouldn't know anything about wine. I really don't. I, my, poofy, isn't it? Um, glad to have it, though. <laughs> Given my cousin's status on their uh, male baldness. Let's see. Male pattern baldness. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad it's up there in Poofy, okay? But uh, what the hell was it? Oh, um, my daughter came home from college, and uh, she's absolutely ecstatic about where she's going to school. And while I know that there are no rules in life, uh, there are some things I think, if you do them, uh, your life will work better. And one of my... Uh, one of the things that I've said for years, and one of the things that I do, is quit early and often. And by that I mean, if you don't like doing something, I don't care about the commitment. Quit. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you've made solemn vows, if it's diminishing your vitality, and out of that you're treating people like shit because you feel like shit, then quit. Uh, Naomi is the one who started an apprenticeship. It was costing her her health. Um, after we discussed it and she went to an alternative high school and had, started having a great time, was uh, put together their first uh, yearbook, uh, she came to us and she said, I just saw a friend of mine who her parents won't let her quit. And she said she is so sad and so unhappy. And she's the same one that went to Richmond University, oops, did I mention the name, a warehouse for intellectuals for rich kids, uh, where she wanted to quit after the first couple of weeks. And we said, no, at least stay a semester. It just doesn't look good if you quit after a couple of weeks. Stayed and said that wasn't worth any of the tuition you paid. Tried to talk to the administrators there, and they said, oh, we just don't see what you're seeing. And they asked her for the interview, and she said, you really don't want to talk to me, do you? But my point is, she quit early and often. When she, didn't, when she found something wasn't working in her life, she quit. And now she's at the Hotel de Cool Humaine, no, et uh, school in Lausanne. Uh, apparently, uh, it is one of the uh, most prestigious and reputable uh, hotel schools for um, the, what do you call that industry? It's funny. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. A minute will probably be after this video is over. But she loves it. Uh, the first day we went there, she was fascinated because she saw kids on their computers and she said, Dad, they're studying. These kids want to be here. They want to learn. This is where I want to be. And it took quite a bit of work, a few interviews, uh, and she got accepted, and she has come home, and I've never seen her brighter, happier, and more just soul-satisfied. Uh, I'm going through a process with my motorcycle that I imported from Texas, so I'll keep you up to date to that, because I know you can't wait to hear about my motorcycle from Texas. But um, I went to the importers here, and I talked to a man there, and I said, gee, how long have you worked here? And it's this fabulous showroom with all these beautiful motorcycles <clears throat> and if you don't ride bikes you really don't get what I'm saying but there were vintage bikes and and the new cruisers and everything it was just absolutely fantastic so how long have you worked here is 25 years way too long well wow why wouldn't you quit with an attitude like that why wouldn't you quit probably a pension probably some form of blissful retirement waiting for him uh, the average male dies within four years of retirement, unless, of course, he's a Mercedes-Benz executive and has 2.4 years. <laughs> but, again, if you have a chance to quit early and often, uh, if you need a mechanism to move on in your life, you need a mechanism to moving on to an, uh, a completely different arena, come and do a class with me, because that's what I do. Uh, we take you out of your thought patterns, you take, we take you into a world of experience to where your world can move towards you, uh, but www.micpeakperformance.com. Have a fun day. Thanks for listening.